Hey guys, Upper Dimension here, and uh, welcome back to Let's Play Rings of Power. Uh, I did actually go back and get some uh, food and water, but you wouldn't know it by the length of the bar down there. Did actually buy three units, but it seems to have been used up immediately. Just getting back here. Um, one thing we can do now, however, um, I did actually run ahead to Cathedral quickly just to actually get get some extra gold. There's a few chests here you can uh, go back and forth to. And I actually found some Fanini in some of the chests which we can resell for over a thousand, which is actually enough to help us revive Slash. And we will need to do that for the next uh, town. So yeah, five Fanini. Quite handy. And you can sell gems here for quite a high price. They normally go for 130 gold, I, be I believe. Um, so this is the place to sell those if you get quite a few. They pay quite high for them. Uh, so now that we've got gold, we can pop in the cathedral here. The road down there, um, I'm pointing at the screen, I don't know why, uh, will actually take you back to perfection. There's a bit of a bypass of chaos there. So yeah, buy life. Uh, and there we go. Slash is back with us on minimal health. But that would be a problem. You can heal here too, but uh, probably better off just camping, to be, to be honest. Of course, we'll need some food and water for that, which won't be a problem now that we have the. Won't be a problem now we have the gold, of course. So I'll do that as well. Then we actually need to go back into the cathedral. It won't be a very long stop here. Uh, might be worth bribing this guy actually. If you bribe, the prices go down by a quarter. Seeing as we're buying quite a lot probably going to benefit us that should, yeah that's more than we need brilliant uh, I will camp just in case uh, just on the off chance something goes wrong and we get into a fight and slash dies again like that dino there uh, before we do go into Cathedral, I do want to pop back in here. This is where the chests are. The Paladin's Guild. We don't actually get a Paladin. This is the only guild that belongs to a class that we don't actually get. Normally you find tomes in here, as well as uh, a fair bit of gold. Oh, Flipstone. That's nice. So yeah, it's an idea to pop in here every time you're over here. Because there really aren't that many ways to get gold in this game. Not a decent amount anyway. So, uh, into Cathedral, I do know exactly what I've got to do. There was a reason I walked here beforehand. Um, we do need to look through the bookcases and there's like a hundred, basically. I didn't want to spend ages just going through them on the screen. Uh, oh, don't want to talk to this guy. Had enough of looking through bookcases at uh, perfection. So yeah, this is the confessional guy you had to speak to. Uh, ask him about the quest and he will tell you that souls can be saved uh, by looking in a holy mirror. And there's a reference to it on the west wall in the south end uh, of this building. Didn't actually realise he actually gave you a fairly nice location for it. Saves a lot of time. But yeah, at one point we will have to look through every one of these bookcases, sadly. I, I won't do it on the screen, of course. I'll just cut to finding the actual notes, because there is quite a few here. Is 
could make sense to do it now, but there really is... It references all the rings that you have to find. Sort of a good starting point for a lot of them. And it's actually in this bookcase here, I believe. Uh, up a bit. Yep. There we are. So if we go into our uh, inventory there, look at pave. Oops, nope, not the keys. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it's a reference to the magic mirror that was moved into the Crypt Imperfection. We already went there and found this note that it got moved to the Speed Crypt. So uh, that's our next port port of call for that for that quest there. Um, as I said before, it just saves time get going there beforehand. It's not particularly hard to spot the crypt and the fact that it's quite uh, out of place over in perfection. So I do believe that's everything for this place apart from... Uh, I might pop into the guilds quickly and see what's on offer there. I do believe that once you have an enchanter there's a guild here you really want to visit at all costs. It gives you one of the most useful enchanter spells for a long time. But for now I just need the Sorcerer and Knight's Guild which I already learnt where they are fortunately. This guy sells uh, Cut and Rend, both of which are in a fair reasonable price range, but I'll have to sell another f another Vanini for those. They're fairly useful, I believe, so uh, I'll grab them now. These ones, not so much. Confuse has its moments, but I'll buy them for the sake of it, I think seeing as we're not so strapped for cash anymore. Oh. If they were a bit more expensive I'd probably think twice about it, but A pretty decent value for money at the moment. Okay, so I believe that's uh, all we want to do here. For the moment at least. Uh, this way does indeed go to speed. At long last we're on our way there. Oh, after this fight. Uh, can we use any of these yet? No. Can use knives though. Knives is decent. Uh, probably can't use... Oh wait, we can use Confuse. Okay, let's show that off. Yeah, it doesn't actually... I don't know if it um, occasionally... That cuts down its max health, just in case it... Uh, Heals. Very few enemies heal though. Can't use help. Knowledge. Not sure what that does actually. Uh, does it? Might be adding to base damage, I can't really tell. But yeah, we can finish these off now. I don't know if um, confused enemies ever attack each other. Generally, it just stops them doing anything at all. Oh, we're out of mana. Yeah, um, okay, back to stun. I think I said in the first part this will never happen, but I uh, guess I'll have to eat my words there.
Will that... Yep. Slash just finished them off last minute. So, uh, 60 gold for that. Quite nice. And on the road to speed once more. Um, yeah, there is a shortcut to speed from Cathedral if you take the other path. Um, it's blocked off by mountains, but you can actually work your way around it. I believe you come out around this point here. You can see the path being cut off there. Uh, I might show that on the way back to uh, Cathedral. Um, or well, it might be that path there, actually. Uh, You'll have to explore the landscape here quite a bit after you've started off the quest at speed. That dino just vanished. Oh, no, there it is. Okay, let's ignore it. Um, so here we are at speed. At long last. I can't believe we're finally here. Such a long trip. But, uh, obviously you want to start off in the Archer's Guild here. I just realised I forgot something. Yeah, she won't let you in. Because she's... Uh, she has self-esteem issues and wants flowers from you. You can only buy flowers in perfection, so... Uh, I guess I'm going to cut here and meet you there. That's annoying. Okay, we're back here. Um, this is the general store in perfection. It's not too far, a trip back generally, so it's not too bad. Yeah, you can buy fl flowers here. Um, might as well buy a few for no reason at all. I think she only wants one. Okay, uh, yeah, back to speed then. Okay, we're back in speed here. Uh, just have to show this woman the flowers and she'll let you through. Oh, and she tells you that there's a sextant hidden in the cave behind the falls to the east. Which is really useful to know. I didn't realise she was the one who told you that. So yeah, she takes a flower. I have a weird feeling there's something in this thingy here. Oh, no, never mind. Ignore me. Maybe it's the bookcases? No. Never mind then. Okay. Oh, I know where it is. It's upstairs. Yeah. Three gold and uh, two gold. Oh well. Nothing else is there. No. So yeah, uh, we have the guild mistress here, who is named uh, Arrow. Oh wait, is she? Yeah, I guess she is. So yeah, she knows about Thalmus. They all seem to know about Thalmus dying. I don't know how word got to them. Yeah, she needs you to ask around the guilds for um, information on where one of her students has vanished. Uh, she tells you to talk to Carp and bring her a map to the Mines of Misery, for which she will be rewarded. And it's actually a reward you need to actually progress in the game. Hey guys, a bit of post commentary here. Uh, afraid I ran a bit over time, so I'm going to attach the rest of this segment onto the next one. So uh, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.